Check this out. I've been wanting to do this. I made a salmon souffle. And this is so easy. It's not that hard. Of course, our salmon. I have one filet of Atlantic salmon and I just cut it up into little pieces here. Now I take my salmon and I put it into my blender here. But what I should have done was done this in two batches, but I found out the hard way. So if you're gonna do this and you have a blender like this one here, do it in two batches, trust me. You'll save yourself a lot of trouble. So with that, the salmon, I have three eggs and four tablespoons of mayo and one squeezed lemon. And this is what it's gonna look like when it's all said and done. There we go. Now I get this together. I chopped up some parsley, about a quarter cup. Now I'm just gonna mix this in with the salmon. Now in my little roasting pot here, I lay some parchment paper down. Trust me, you're gonna to wanna to lay this down. And I spread it down with some non-stick spray. And then I put my salmon inside and spread it all evenly. I just cut the excess paper off and I put the lid on. You'd want this in the oven for about one hour at 350. And this is what it's gonna look like. Here I checked the temperature just to make sure it was cooked and oh yeah, 185 degrees, it was well cooked. Now the tricky part of course is getting it upside down on my plate. And this is why I use this perfect paper. So I can just take that paper off and there we have it, look at that. It almost looks like processed meat, but it's not. It's salmon. Salmon, some eggs, and a little bit of mayo, and there you have it. And this is absolutely delicious. You can do anything with this. You can make good sandwiches, just make a good meal all around. So I took this little bit of salmon I sliced off, and I put a little bit of sriracha mayo sauce on it, and it tastes so good. I really enjoyed making this video and I'm definitely going to be doing this again. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.